So here we are, starting a new painting, working on top of a canvas that I previously had something on. And the first step involved in that is sanding it down and reducing the contrast of that initial image to make sure that it's not going to have any textural or uh, light and dark impact on the pattern of the new painting. And then once I've kind of squared that away and gotten it, gotten that old canvas ready to uh, work on, I'm starting with vine charcoal and using that to sketch out kind of a rough idea of the composition. I don't always do this. Sometimes I'll do a much more detailed drawing and really work out the kinks before getting going. But in this case, the composition was relatively simple and I wanted to just get in the flow and really start to put things down and work with it from there. So one of the reasons that I picked this particular spot on the path, which you can see on the left there, is that many of the lines in the composition run parallel with the direction that the clouds are moving in in the sky, typically in this area. So you can see that kind of diagonal from um, top to bottom, left to right movement of the clouds. They're kind of, they, they, they go with the direction that the um, th those uh, relatively horizontal but slightly diagonal lines make. And one of the things that is very useful to look for in any composition is uh, repeating patterns, right? Repeating shapes. One of the things that I'm always keeping in mind, regardless of what paint, doesn't matter if it's a portrait or a landscape or a still life or an abstract, it literally does not matter. If you're making a painting, one of the most important things to keep in mind is that a painting is a pattern. Okay. It's a pattern. It's just, it's, it's just shapes. And, and especially when we're painting from life or especially when we're painting something that's representational, it's very easy to forget that. It's very easy to think that rendering something in a lifelike way or getting the light just right or the forms just right is the most important thing about the painting. And yes, it is true. And a tremendous amount of work goes into developing our skills and our capacity to render form and um, pay attention to the, um, the proportions and the perspective and, and all those things that go into making it look um, lifelike and real are obviously super important. But at the end of the day, a painting is a pattern and looking for places where you can repeat angles and repeat geometric forms um, throughout the design and find ways to simplify the entire structure will go a long way in making your painting stronger and making the end result of what you're making uh, a, like a lot better. So this is just an, ex this is a good example because it's also a very, very, very simple example. So you can see that for me, the first stage after I have gotten a broad sense of the composition and outlined it more or less with the vine charcoal is to then start to lay in kind of a dead color and dead color basically means like a slightly grayish versions of the colors that you ultimately want to be in the painting now it doesn't even matter technically if you do like air quotes dead colors like more muted colors or not if you are working on top of a kind of grayish colored canvas, such as I am here, the colors, regardless of how, let's say saturated, you make them to some degree, if you're trying to paint accurately, um, they're not going to be as saturated or as intense, both in terms of color and in terms of value as they could be. And part for me, at least part of the process of the unfolding of the creation of the painting is working towards a stronger and stronger sense of light and a stronger and stronger sense of saturation and uh, color and um, yeah contrast and light because as much as a painting is a pattern of geometric forms it's also a pattern of light and so the first stage for me is just getting in 
the core uh, aspect of the composition, these lights, these shapes, just the general colors, a general outline. And from there, then I actually have something to work with and I have something to start truly designing with and playing with. So that's the first day. That's what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, this uh, format of making time-lapse videos and teaching over them uh, for YouTube is a new experiment for me. So um, we're going to be doing the next few days of the painting. And if you have any comments for me or questions um, or any feedback on whether or not you enjoyed it, whether or not you found it helpful, or what you think we could do to make these videos even better, please leave me a comment, leave me a suggestion, uh, reach out to us via email, um, dustin at dustinniece.com. And you can always visit our website, dustinniecestudio.com, if you'd like to learn more about studying with me. So have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.